Since January 2021, the sailing cargo ship Kwai is owned by the Republic of the Marshall Islands. In the Marshalls, more than 1,000 islands are scattered over a surface area of a size comparable to Mexico. Maritime transport is essential for economic activity, connectivity, and resilience in the ocean nation. Also, it is a significant factor for delivering education, health, environmental, and economic development, including response to climate change impacts. Still, RMI is almost entirely dependent on imported fossil fuels, which places a heavy burden on national and household budgets. Shifting from the use of fossil fuel propulsion to renewable energy sources helps in reducing the cost of providing regular and reliable transport services to outer island communities, thereby supporting more inclusive and sustainable economic growth for the country. With the German-funded bilateral project between the Ministry of Transportation, Communication and Information Technologies in the Marshall Islands and Deutsche Gesellschaft für Internationale Zusammenarbeit, GIZ, are jointly implementing a project on transitioning to low-carbon sea transport, funded by the German Ministry of Environment, Nature Conservation, and Nuclear Safety. The implementing partner, the Marshall Islands Shipping Cooperation, agreed on a four-month charter of the SV Quiet between September and December 2020 to test their capacity in national waters. The Kwai is a seaworthy sailing vessel, equipped with engine assistance for maneuvering during windless and calm conditions. The Marshallese government agreed on the purchase of the Kwai in late December 2020. Overall, the proposed scenario of the purchase intended to maximize RMI's chances of a real transition towards low-carbon sea transport. With a focus on skills development and scalability and replicability of the developed technologies and newly gained capabilities. As clearly said in the Teleteleo strategy of the Republic of the Marshall Islands, the RMI is targeting net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. In the transport sector, land, aviation, and sea transport, a 16% reduction of the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide by the year 2025 and of 27% by the year 2030 is aimed. Particularly in the sea transport area, it has been agreed on a 40% reduction by 2030 and full decarbonization by the year 2050, as set out in the UNFCCC and DC commitments. The German-funded project Low Carbon Sea Transport aims at reducing CO2 emissions of domestic sea transport in the Marshall Islands to help achieving RMI's NDC objectives. For now, SV Quai will make her round trips to all parts of the Marshall Islands. Thousands of tons of materials will be sailed nearly emission-free by crew from the Marshall Island Shipping Cooperation. The impact on shipping already became apparent as one of the busiest vessels hauling Copra to Mejuro and taking passengers and cargo to the outer islands, she has proven the advantages of wind-propelled ships. And the loan that was used to finance the purchase was already paid off. Now SV Quiet is making profits for the Marshall Islands Shipping Cooperation. Respectable scene. SV Quai jointly with the German-funded and more modern sailing cargo freighter will furthermore provide a much-needed platform for particular maritime training. The new built sailing ship includes special areas designated for teaching and training. SV Quai for now already allows Marshallese seamen to learn the basics of sailing a 120-feet ship by the means of wind energy. The initiative is provided a great example that low-carbon sea transportation is feasible 
and beneficial, which is much needed to mitigate climate change. As part of the ambitious project, a sailing cargo vessel for inter sea transport in RMI has to be designed, built, tested, and assessed in the domestic waters of Marshall Islands. At a later stage of the project, a mature concept for low-carbon shipping technologies will be disseminated through the region.